So I can't believe what I'm going to say here today. Walmart actually had not only a good PS5 drop, but they actually upgraded players from a $400 digital only to a $500 disc version of PS5s free of charge. That's a big schmeckle move, boys. So it feels like so many times I've covered news around Walmart drops that has been inherently negative. I mean, they've been pretty bad. In fact, Walmart is probably one of the worst places for getting a PS5. If you look at the overall success rate of people actually locking in consoles, generally they have really poor bot protection. So generally these big white unicorns go directly to the bots and scripts of scalpers. No surprise there. Best Buy has a much better system. PS5 Direct, even though they have a randomized queue, that seems to work pretty damn good. Amazon hardly ever restocks, but when they do, it works, but that's neither here nor there nor in my rear. So what happened here recently was Walmart just did a drop over the last couple of days and they actually sold more of the digital version than they had planned. But instead of canceling people's orders, which they easily could have done because, hey, you paid $400, you ordered a digital console, we're sold out of that model. Uh, you know, we're just going to refund your money. Sorry. Good luck. You're back in the bullpen trying to fight and claw your way to the top to get a PS5. They actually sent out emails saying, hey, we actually sold more of the digital version of the PS5 than we expected. We are going to upgrade you to the disc version free of charge. Now, even if you're thinking to yourself, Kevin, I would prefer to get the digital only version and save the hundred bucks. You actually don't, trust me. I actually have an entire video as to why you do not want to get the digital only version. You really, you really don't. I understand you're saving a hundred dollars. You might be, uh, well, I don't have a Blu-ray movie collection. I stream all my stuff on Netflix and HBO Max, bitch. I have Disney Plus too, sucker. Or you might be like, oh, I don't I don't own a single disc game from the, the whole seven years that you owned a PS4. I don't have a single disc-based game. Or you might just be blatantly oblivious to the fact that disc-based games get cheaper quicker than digital-only versions. Or you might not even care about the fact that as of 2018, the only place you can buy a digital-only game for a PlayStation is the PSN. There's actually a class action lawsuit going on right now because they generally charge 30 to 60% more than digital codes from Walmart, Amazon, Best Buy, etc., and obviously disc-based games from GameStop when you can get like a $17 game because it's been out for two years, but it's still 40 or 50 bucks on the PSN. That's the only place you can get digital games. A friend brings a movie over. Oh, you don't have a disc slot. All right. That video will be linked in the description below. I go a little bit more in depth instead of just battering the digital only version. I think it is smart that Sony does offer a digital version because, well, for one, that console has been more readily available, not by much, but just ever so, you know, my Schmeckle length, just this much more available than the disc version. Not by much. Don't decapitate me. I know there's still super hard to get. I'm not I'm not a big dum dum. The fact is, though, there is a hundred dollar difference between those consoles, the digital only and the disc version PS5. Walmart just, you know, gobbled down the I don't like that hand movement there. They just here's a spoon. I like this one more. This is how I eat my bananas. I put them in a bowl and I, I, I spoon feed them. I don't I don't eat them in one bite anymore. Quit doing that. They uh, took a straw and they sucked up the loss of $100, which I'm sure it was probably several hundred or even a few thousand units times 100. But it's Walmart. They are literally the biggest North American store chain. I almost said in the world, but then I just said in North America, so that wouldn't make any damn sense. And I don't think it's global because there's things like BenQ and stuff like that over there in the UK. But anyway, here uh, in the in, in the States, here in America, Walmart, as you boys know, it's a big, thick, girthy boy. And they can afford, you know, 70, 80, a couple hundred thousand dollars in losses. Not a big deal. And the main reason they did this isn't really the goodness of their heart. It's because, like I mentioned, every time they have a drop, YouTubers make a video, Twitch streamers go live, Instagram influencers go out there, people like Wario64 and Jake Randall who cover drops of PlayStations and Xbox series tweet out, well, Walmart had another janky ass, punk ass drop. It's bad PR. It, it makes them look bad in the public image that they literally have some of the worst bot protection and just one of the worst checkout processes. We all know the infamous Oh Deer page with that damn dog dressed up like a damn reindeer. It made me hate dogs and reindeers in the same day. And I love animals. But the facts are Walmart 
did a solid for the gaming community. Again, it's not out of the goodness of their heart, just like when GameStop is doing these bundles, which by the way, is getting more consoles into the hands of actual consumers, actual gamers, because scalpers with their bots and scripts target primarily just the console because they have less of a profit margin, they get less of an ROI or return on their investment, by going after bundles, but the bundles from GameStop are actually pretty good because it's not, Ooh, go ahead and mute the phone, good Lord, because the accessories they do bundle them with are usually a triple A title game like Miles Morales or Ratchet and Clank or Returnal, and then an extra DualSense controller, which you're probably gonna need anyway. You're gonna want a second controller, especially because battery life isn't great on them. You're gonna wanna be able to hot swap them. And then also like a Pulse 3D headset, which, I strongly recommend every PS5 owner gets because they work in conjunction with the Tempest audio engine on board the new PS5. So it actually sounds really good. Now, if you're just playing PS4 titles on it, it sounds like a regular $100 stereo headset. But then you play a PS5 game like Miles Morales, you can hear every BJ on the subway. You can hear every needle prick into an arm in a back alley in that game. Um, it's 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 very nice, very accurate. 7.1 surround. You feel like you're in the nitty gritty squeeze a titty of New York. But yeah, those bundles really do, even though they're, you know, eight, nine hundred bucks, they are worth it because they're actually a little bit cheaper than it would be to buy the accessories individually, accessories and games that you're probably going to want to buy any anyway, eventually. But also scalpers don't target them as much. Sometimes they do. They generally do not. But it's not out of the goodness of their heart, as there is a bigger profit margin for these vendors such as Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon that take the Sony product to be selling accessories like the Pulse 3D headset and the DualSense controller. So they're making more money with the bundle, but it's also easier for us to get a console. So I guess everybody wins. Hey, buy a bundle. It's expensive as shit, but you might actually get one. So again, Walmart, I mean, look, just a quick round of applause. It's gonna sound fucking weird because I have a noise gate on my mic, which cuts out weird frequencies and whatnot. But yeah, Walmart, I mean, bravo. Granted, you did it because you didn't want an, a bad PR fucking debacle pickle. You didn't want to be sucking on a, a big PR dilemma. So that makes sense. But it's good for us. It's, well, by us, I mean the people, the hundreds or thousands of gamers that got a free $100 upgrade to a disc version PS5, which trust me, you're going to really appreciate that later when you're like, wow, these digital games on the PSN are like, oh my God. This is 20 bucks at GameStop. They want 45 bucks on the PSN. Oh, boy. Trust me, they, there wouldn't be a class action lawsuit in place if it wasn't blatantly ripping people off. That is going to do it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, shoving your thumb not up your butt, but on the like button it takes three seconds. It is free and it helps support the channel and also gets the video seen by more people. So this information will reach and assist them as well. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover a lot of news that Jesus, my dog just really earthquaked everything. I cover a lot of news in the gaming community and industry, as well as tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing and a handful of honest product reviews around the gaming space. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.